welcome to our second podcast. Uh, actually, it's technically our third or second one. Camera's overheated, so here we are. Uh, we have a guest in the studio today, my friend, co-worker, and uh, Outdoor X Media partner, Aaron Hendricks. He is uh, joining Jesse and I, and we're going to talk about deer, of, of course. That's all we ever talk about. So let's get r- right into it. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, go from there. Cool. Thanks for having me on. Uh, yeah, I'm Aaron uh, Hendricks. I'm originally from North Carolina. Grew up deer hunting, bear hunting, turkey hunting there. And, uh, yeah, I got pretty sick for deer hunting. Watched a lot of a lot of Midwest whitetail when I was getting a little, like in my 20s probably, and finally convinced me to come on out here. I got tired of watching everybody shoot the big deer, and I was <laughs> shooting what I could in North Carolina. Yeah. So 2017, I came on out. I'm glad you're here. Yep. <laughs> so tell us what's the, uh, I guess, your opinion living out of state then coming into state and now being an Iowa resident. What's the quality of deer? I mean, we've seen this a little bit with just hunt Missouri, but we're pretty fortunate, I think. But Oh, it's an, not in day difference. Like, so incredibly fortunate here. Like, a, a mediocre deer here would be a monster in North Carolina. Yeah, I mean, yeah. For the most part. Like, what do you, so. when, like, down there, what were you trying to shoot? Like, like around here, you have, like, okay, this is what I'm trying to shoot. Yeah. What a, What is it down there? You kill a 120 every year. That You're a stud. What's that, yeah. like a 160? Yeah, Greg, equi- we kind of talked about Greg that today. I'm talking about yeah. that today. A, a 120 there is like a 140 here. So there's like about a, a... About a 20-inch 20 20 difference. 20 20 inch difference. Th- yeah, yeah. 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 But, but do they get... I mean, I'm sure there's some deer that yeah. get 200, yep. Yep. but not... like. <laughs> Yeah, like a one eighty uh, there, one eighty there, two twenty here. I mean, probably, for comparison. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, there was one that got poached, not far from our lease. They they did catch the people, but it was it scored like one eighty four. But that's like big, big, big. That's like that's good deer. Big, that's good know. deer anyway. But, but what? And I always thought this was crazy. You have giant bear, big bear, big yeah. black bear. I yeah. mean, like six, eight hundred, seven, eight hundred pounds. Like that just. Yeah. I the first time I saw that, I was like, that makes no sense. Huh. Why everything down there is you know mostly smaller with the big animals right. and then i saw a video on facebook you know like five or six years ago someone shot like an 850 pound bear i'm like wait where yeah and it's interesting because there's like the west part of the state there's some big bear in the mountains but also the, the bigger ones are usually on the coast they have a lot of swamps real bad nasty thickets a lot of peanut farms that kind of thing okay so that's they, interesting they can they can get in the thickets and then they can come out and eat that high protein stuff but okay makes sense so <laughs> bear wise like when you're deer hunting do you see a lot of bears or do you get pictures of um, them when you were there i got tons of pictures of bears yeah. there's were you ever like scared i mean we don't have no. hardly any bears around here like no nah, they're random not, unless you get between a, a sow and cub you're, okay you're probably not okay so you didn't have to carry everywhere you go nah. there's no human bear conflict not or, usually unless people are Feeding them, being dumb. Yeah, you're putting you're putting yourself in that situation, yeah. thinking they're they're cute little furry pets, yeah. and they're, and they're not. not. <laughs> for sure, so, so let's uh, let's dive into um, kind of your tactics and what you're looking forward to this year. Then maybe go back to last year on this cool little dude. It's not little; he's big. He's got uh, just talk about him real quick. He's got what seven or eight inches broken off right here. Yeah. That is a cool deer. First few pictures I got, I couldn't figure out what was going on on that side. But, <coughs> yeah, he had a big big inside tine, probably six to eight inches long, and just stuff going everywhere. Yeah, that's a neat deer. On public, yeah. I was I'd shoot. the biggest deer I had. That's, a, that's a good deer regardless, <laughs> public versus private. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, this year you have – I've watched your trail cameras probably about as much as you have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Talk about the deer you're going after this year, kind of history you got with him. Okay, so the, the farm I hunt is um, some of my wife's family. Oh. Anyway, he runs cattle on a lot of it. Yep. So the, I, that kind of makes things challenging. But either way, there's there's uh, quite a few deer. We do build history with them. Yep. Here. So the one number one for me this year is a deer called Perth. And I named him that just because four years ago when I first saw him, I mean, he was literally mirror image, perfect little 10 point. Symmetrical of it as I've ever seen. Yeah, you were working here as a seasonal, right? Work, mm, was that when he was around? Before, the year before is when I first 
Oh, when you first Got seen him? Radar. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then. So he's um, how old? He's five or he's six. Five and a half. Five and and a half. Yeah. So, yeah, I've watched him grow. Saw him a lot when he was two and a half. Never saw him as a three year old. Lots of pictures, but never saw him. Um, four year old, I videoed him at 30 yards. He was tempting. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah. He was young. Yeah. So I was like, I'm not going to. Not gonna mess with him, but he's he showed up this summer. Crazy mass, long brow tines. So I'm interested. To see cool deer, cool deer. Yeah, hopefully finishes strong. In the next couple of weeks, we'll see that. You know, the velvet will shrink, and yep. the blood, our blood starts pumping. I think even more. Neck starts swelling pretty yep. soon. Yeah, yeah, because that before I came here, I went and put out that camera on that piece that we can both hunt. Yeah, and I was thinking, man, you know, those deer are probably just laying in this corn. And it, five seconds later, I just hear something blowing up. I'm like, please come. Please, bro, I want to see. I want to Yeah, see. come right to me. And, and like a mid-40s deer jumped out, and he was about done. Really? Like, I mean, he had little tiny G4s. If we get pictures of him in the next few days, I'll be like, that's the That's deer. here. You yeah. know, good frame, good, you know, 40, 50 yeah. class deer, short little four on at least one side. And I'm like, that, that's he, he felt like he was starting to shrink. Not like super tight, but you could tell his he didn't have any – bulbs on the yeah. tips yeah. of the tines he was pretty much done pretty much done and that's the farm that we had that real big one last year that josh one of our other teammates found dead right and and, and, and he was it, what, it, what did he score I think josh scored him he was high he 70s said, or 180 i he mean said he was, was right around 180 that's what i thought and i didn't like the picture yeah when I we went back and forth i was trying to hunt carlos i'm like god this deer looks he looks kind of like a mini cowboy like that yeah, deer. yeah he, he was a good deer he was no really nice. no slouch I can, I, i'll look for some pictures yeah he's a he uh Good frame deer, and just I'm like, he doesn't look old. Yeah, and he was there like four when I showed the picture. And yeah. he was like every day. I'm like, yeah. dude, I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna go kill. Yeah. This then I was deer. like, no, I want to kill him. So and then <laughs> we both ended up killing our deer in October. Yeah. And then he just kind of disappeared. I think yep. I got one or two random pictures of him in November. He was hard horn though, and he'd been rubbing. So we don't know if he what he died of if yeah, a bow hunter hit him or yeah. yeah. I mean, right there. I mean, there's a lot of hunters in that section. Hunters. It's a good section roads. too. There's always big deer. Always big deer. Oh, one Sometimes. one real big one that was running around a couple yeah. years ago. And, but. and who knows? I mean, there's – Yeah, you can get some late EHD kills too. Yeah, know? that's true. Well, mm-hmm. and, and that's one of the things that – I don't know if you've watched – Mark was on – Jury was on their wild podcast, and he was talking about how you have – there's two types of EHD. The, you get it, you're dead right away. Yep. And then the other one, it just slowly – eats at them, and they can kick yeah, out of it. Yeah, some of them some yeah. do. But yep. if they don't, he was finding deer later in the year that were yep. just look, didn't look right. Yep. And then shed season, they find them. Yep. So it, it makes sense. I killed one in North Carolina in December. I thought it was a doe, but um, we, we drove by, and I saw it kind of hobble in the woods. We, we looped around. I got out. I'm gonna go, but I couldn't. I got it to him, and it was a shed buck, skin and bone. Oh, man. Just, like, na- just no, nothing there. Wasn't even running around, so I put him out put of misery. misery. And there, there's other December, so. there's other diseases too, not just EHE right. that come yeah. into play. You know, the CWD is coming in from all sides of the state, which is Sucks. It does suck. But you know, it's you know, that's how are we going to deal with it? We're you know, that's, that's a, definitely a rabbit hole. It's right. a very it, big rabbit a whole hole. Another podcast, yeah. and it's yeah. but uh, with that farm, so you got two cameras up. Yeah, just um, two and now cameras. with. Uh, you got a wild game and a stealth cam, or would you put yeah, the yeah. deceptor? Put a, put a reactor and then an encounter. <laughs> a reactor? Tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. So, so now he can share that with me directly so I can look on my app and see the same pictures of the fa- same farm we're hunting. Which is super nice because yeah. it was never before that. It would be like, hey, make sure you send me pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get a text yeah. at 4.30 in the morning when right. he wakes up, and he's like, hey, you got hey, any pictures? What did you get last night? I'm like, I'm still asleep. Just leave me alone. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. It's, it's so easy. Literally, I did this with Aaron today on one of the cameras we hung. You got to put your phones away at night. I know. He says he sleeps in a different I'll put room. It in a different room. So, so all, all I got to do is I'm go. I'm about it right now, but how do you do that? I'll go here to the settings. You probably won't be able to zoom in. And go share. Type in their email, and it comes up on their app. It's that simple. Okay. All you do is type in their we'll, email. After, yeah. after we're done doing this. It's, 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 it's kind sweet. of a neat feature. Because, I mean, you can look at I, I can't – well, whoever shares it, I mean, I can't change the settings, but I can look at the pictures. Yep. Okay. So, whoever's camera plan it's under. That's who's going to be able to control it. Yep. Okay. I can just view it, help me, you know, pattern one or three, right. five, trying to kill a deer or whatever. Yep. So no, that, that, is, that is yeah. cool. That's one of the things that we've kind of said for a few years. Like, 
man, if we could figure this out, yeah, that would be a this great is, thing uh, to have somebody yeah, do. Yeah, it's nice that they changed that. Yeah, for sure. Um, food plots. What dirt? Dirt, dirt, plots? dirt plots. Yeah, dirt plots? we uh, we need some rain. <sighs> it's been so. I think bad. we looked at the weather channel like I don't know twenty times today, maybe more. <laughs> it changes. And it's time yeah, time like time. six o'clock tonight. It's supposed to rain. No. There's a there's a storm system coming in. I I sat on the tractor last night with a, a landscape rake and put in some more turnips and cross my fingers that they don't get you know a three inch rain, but a nice. We got rain yesterday though. So. A little bit, but I so I took my rubber boots because I thought we got enough rain because we were in Linden right. and it downpoured. There's puddles. We get back here. And I'm like, oh, I'll throw my rubbers and get to the farm and it's just bone dry enough to like cut the gravel, but it was pretty yeah. We needed I more. This, I hate this time of year. Hate it. I got so many plots that are in and has seed on the ground, and I just I, I have not rain. planted a single fall plot. I have like twice. So the uh, so the one at my uncle's farm, he's we've mowed everything. It's all been kill sprayed and it's all been tilled. So it's there. Yeah. I just have to throw it out. Yeah. And I'm waiting till I know without a shadow. Not one. I want like multiple chances. Yep. And that's, week. that's what you're doing tomorrow, right? You're going to go do some I'm food plot stuff? Spray and luckily, I have the luxury of a no-till drill there. That's so nice. That, that helps. That helps, yeah. If there's any, you know, moisture in the ground already, yep. Yep. You're, you're a little ahead of the game. Yep. But, I'm, yeah, I'm still, like, one day, one one minute I look at the forecast, it says chance of rain, then the next minute, 92 degrees yep. or nothing. So. Yep, and that's, we kind of discussed this today as, as far as soil goes and, um, I think you're a big believer on not disking it up completely. Yeah, it's. I mean, it just because you're that makes things worse when it gets dry. It does, and there's a lot of guys that run tillers right now, and oh, I got this nice, you know, lush looking, you know, very fine dirt plot. That's all, there goes all your moisture. The wind blows. It's the yep. wind. Yeah. So, I mean, I get you got to work with what you got. Yep. And, and a lot of our stuff was old vegetation yeah so like the part where i had the rye that i put he tried to disc it up it still looks so, like yeah it's tough to disc. Mat of, yep. yeah but i'm like i'm okay with it like yeah, it's, it's, it's almost like a mulch yeah it is i, I look yeah. at it and it bugs me because i want a green right field. it's gonna come if we get rain like i planted the in-laws with the my little sprayer my father-in-law mowed it it's like probably two acres that's when i got stung by another wasp right last weekend I love they do. So I, he mowed it. I went and sprayed it and seeded the same day. And it's, it's got, you know, thick grass like that, but it's all dying. And it's going to act as that mulch. And hopefully the turnips pop up. Because the plots that I planted before, the only stuff that's grown is the stuff that's dead and Indeed. acting as the mulch. Yeah. So on that hill, that west hillside of the farm. So. Yeah, we'll see. I guess uh, do a rain dance after this podcast and see if we can get some rain to come. It worked once when I was a kid. Did it? I wasn't deer hunting. We're going to burn some sage and <laughs> say a prayer. So. Figure it out, I yeah, guess. Yep. Nothing, nothing we can do. That's no. Keep that's buying seed. You, yeah. Yep. And I've always been the, we're, I have this day to do it. I'm just going to do it. Right. Yep. I'm at the, I'm, I'm planning it. I have to plan it. Yeah. Well, you got to plan with the rain almost. And now I'm like, we're no. plan after the rain. Like as soon as it rains, the soil's wet. We got the moisture. Go throw turnips. Like, the turnips will grow in the right. in the gravel. Like, I've had – I don't know how many times I've had a spray because i got a turnip plot in my gravel pad. Right. Yeah, it, it's just I'm, – I'm not doing it anymore. Like, no. I will get up at 1 o'clock in the morning, and I'll drive the hour and a half down there, and I'll plant it in the dark yep. if I have to this year. Yeah. Before you, I plant it now, let it germinate, and then die. Then like like, but you've, you're in that pocket where you hardly get any rain. We've talked about this. Never get rain. But with your fencing and the, doing the corn and Dude, the corn is yeah, your plots have been you see the snap yeah, I your plots have been money. looking. You know, you're competing with a lot of guys that know what they're doing in the hunting right. industry. So that's yeah, and like my neighbor, too, he's got his corns like over ten feet tall. He's got a five. He's got a a box blind on a five foot tower, and it's over the windows. It's almost hmm. to the top of the roof. Wow. It's good. It's awesome. And he's like, I was gonna do it for a food plot. He's like. I'm, I'm going to have to combine part of it. There's too much yeah. food. Too much there. corn. Too yeah. much food there. So I'm like, okay. And we've talked about it. And, you know, when you have neighbors like that, it's a double-edged sword. Yep. You know, it's great. They do all the work. You yep. do all the work. The deer normally get big. Mm-hmm. 
yep. they're also very good hunters. Right. Uh, <laughs> and so you're at the mercy of, I mean, I grew up watching my deer die on primetime bucks. Yeah, yeah. Where'd that deer go? Yeah. Well, there it was oh, next year. There he is. Yep. yep. And yep. that's when DVDs were a thing, and you didn't get them until like April. Or like August? Yeah, they, yeah, it was they the would come following out. year. Yeah, yeah, the next year they'd come out and be like, oh, that's yeah, why you That's why it disappeared, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so switching gears, we're, tr- we're getting cameras out right now. Yep. I mean, almost every day we're putting one or two and trying different farms in yep. different places. We talk about when you were going to put a trail camera out. Was it last year or the oh. year before when that uh, the thing walked behind you after you are leaving? Can we talk about that? You know. The cat? No, oh, the cat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last, that was last September. Last September, yeah, okay. I went to hang a, hang a camera, actually, where I killed this deer. And I got out. I went and hung it, got out. My buddy sent me the post, the mountain line. It was, well, whatever. I, I looked at the picture, and I was like, I told him, I was like, I'm 99% certain that's the trail I was just on. And I just happened to get on Facebook, and I, I happened to know the guy. You know the guy that had so it. So I texted him. I was like, picture of me today too he said yeah i did I made my skin crawl yeah. man, <laughs> well I, how it was like an hour before or after it was two hours before but this, the wild part about that story is he he hung a cell camera that day. he hung that day too it's we must have just missed each other he said that he got the picture of the mountain lion as he was walking out back to his truck that day like he hung the camera and started walking out there was a mountain lion coming same way he was. That was it was a big cat too. Yeah, it was. It was a it was. very large cat. So, this is Iowa. And, this yeah. is, and, and we've talked about this. I I don't know if we want to disclose where it was, but I think it's the same one that's by my house. Could be. It's in the same in, area. In and right. In I mean, Ankeny, like be, yeah. like there was it was going around Facebook by John Deere. Yeah. What people don't realize is that river system and that creek system. It all interlinks right. with so many places. Yeah. That's and, what they're traveling. And there was another one that was, I believe, the same time frame last year that was traveling from Nebraska. They had a caller in Nebraska, and it was coming through Iowa, and it was, like, staying yep. below. It was, like, 35, or it was I'm, moving along 35. I know two different – well, yep. there was also the video in, I think, Warren County last yep. year. It's just like Is anything. The, the, guy, the guy had video out of his tree stand. Yep. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. And then another was guy – Winter- Yeah, it was Warren County. Yeah, another yep. guy had one on camera – and I, I think we're seeing more. I mean, granted, they were here before us, right? Yeah. So they are natural in our environment. The ranges are so big. They I mean. are, too. And the thing is, like, we have elk come through. We, yep. and, but every now, but now with more cell cameras, more cameras in you're general, seeing you're it. seeing this. Yep. It's that phenomenon That's that true. you see the, hey, I got a picture. Oh, my gosh, there's a bobcat. Like, yeah, 15 years there's ago, way more nobody, bo- right. nobody saw a bobcat. You, right. you never saw them. Yep. Until but they, I mean. We, there's been a population increase for sure on those, but right. until last year, and I had the instance with the trail. Like I would always, I was always leery of like, oh yeah, sure you saw right the mountain line. exactly. But last yep. year made a believer because yep, yep, it's right where I just and it's like there, you said, their range is so huge. I mean, it's these well, a lot getting, of these times they're juveniles been that are killed for years. Yep. Like there was yep. one was trapped. Had a trap, had oh, a snare uh, on it, uh, east of here, over by where, uh, where Montezuma, yeah, Brooklyn, one of the two. Yeah, over there, they, yep. they someone shot it. No, it was found dead in a snare. It was found dead. It, okay, it yeah, that was snare it. Off. It was That's a big cat too. Broke so. the snare and, and died yep. somewhere. But I so when I was growing up, uh, this is a story I tell a lot because it was the first one I ever seen, and it was in an enclosure uh, just outside of Grinnell. And I was probably like ten or twelve. Um, my grandpa would take carp to this guy in this garage and he'd have a smoker and he'd smoke these carp for him and then my grandpa would use the carp for a raccoon bait yep and on like water sets he'd poke okay, a hole yep, and put yep. the, the carp in there well, one day we walk in there the first time i've ever been there walk in and there's this cage and there's a hole that goes outside in this this mountain lion he had a, a tame mountain lion that walked in i'm like holy crap like <laughs> this is this is cool and Kind of growing up in Grinnell, my mom worked at Subway, and this guy would bring in tigers all the time, like Bengal tigers and like little Joe? kits. Exotic. It, well, it was the it was the Midwest Joe exotic. King, huh? I don't, you know, my mom probably knows his name. I don't remember his name, um, but he would bring in like I think it was every Friday or something. Really, at, like cubs. around lunch, yeah, he'd bring in tiger cubs, which is insane. <laughs> but that was you know that was before Tiger King, so he's right. the original. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, yep. I remember growing up, we had uh, one of our, my parents' friends had a civic cat. 
Yep. Oh, yeah. And, like, walked it like a dog. Yep. I mean, they have long, long legs, super wide ears. I think they're African. Yeah. I yeah, they're, they're cool looking. We, we, we watch a YouTube channel that this, this guy's got two of them, and they're pretty, actually, pretty docile creatures. And they're smart. They they're are. They're super yep. smart. They're, they're almost like dogs. Yep. But they're cats. Yeah, so, meow. But, yeah, it's... Meow. I mean, every, <laughs> Come on, meow. It's just not a thing anymore, I, <laughs> I, I feel like. so. Yeah, yeah it's definitely... Uh, I think uh, old Joe put a kibosh on a lot of those. Um, I can reel it in. Reel it in. Reel it in. Let's take a quick break. We had to grab some refreshments, but... Uh, we're going to talk about, uh, what are we going to talk about, guys? <laughs> I don't know. Deer. Deer? Oh, hey, that's a good deer. topic. It'll be deer season for me. It will be deer season. <laughs> We've got like 64 days. Not me. Oh, you're going to Kentucky. Oh, yeah. Kentucky. Hey, hey, Siri, I'm when's uh, October 1st? How many days? About two months. It's the 28th. So, yeah. 62, 63 days. Yep. How many days till October 1st? 65 days. It's dumb. Yeah, and you're going to Kentucky when? So, it opens the first Saturday of September, which is... The 7th or 8th? No, it's like the 2nd or 3rd. It's... Let me see. Let's hold Are you driving? Yeah, it's eight and a half hours. Holy. So, the 1st of September is Friday. So, like my last two weeks of August. August is so busy for me, I... I own a carpet cleaning company, and the turn starts Monday, which is turnover of apartments in Ames. So, Iowa okay. State students moving out, moving in. Yep. yep. You're, the, will, you're the guy. I clean uh, probably a couple hundred apartments in a week. Does or someone two. help you? Nope. Nope. Me, myself, and I. I thought you had. I, I've had in the past, help. You've I've, had had, people. I've had like neighbors help me and stuff like, you know, 16, 17 year old kids, you know, just need some. And if I get it to the point where I need help, I'll ask them, you know. 20 bucks cash usually yep. suffices them for, you know, yeah. five or six hours. Yeah. I mean, they, there's not very many places you can you can do that, and it's it's not a big deal. So. Yeah. Um, Interesting. But, yeah, that, and then we got a, you know, the state fair. The state fair is a big thing and for my family, have, too. Uh, you're, you're going. You're going to the state fair. Band. Iowa State Fair. Yeah, my parents are coming back to it. Right. It's, it yeah, my mom called and texted me last night coming back we have a big deal we have a whole family thing like we go there and hey jace it's uh it's a family affair where we go you know the bud tent and hang out so now we have a dog in the podcast room so yeah state fair um after that (laughs) come back outside you guys talk about deer i'm gonna let the dog back out all right so yeah (laughs) Like I said, State Fair, and then um, we have – we're going to a preseason Vikings game. My wife got, them, got me tickets for us and the kids for Christmas. And then that's the Saturday before. Yeah. And then I'm probably going to leave, like, Wednesday to get down there a few days in advance to either set up a stand – or whatnot, uh, Dylan Eccles, who's on the team, he doesn't really do the Snapchat stuff. He's on Facebook. He's not a big social media guy. Uh, he uh, he's asked he asked me like two years ago if I wanted to come down and hunt with him, and it's it's just one of those things. If I don't just say I'm going to do it, I yeah. it sounds nice. Your door didn't shut. Oh, Jace is outside. Um, and uh, it it sounds good, but if I don't say, "Yep, I'm doing it," yep. it's which is the last couple of years you've gone out of state, and I have not. You do. Well, I guess last year I did. I went to Missouri, but you kind of manage farms in Missouri. Yeah. And right. So yeah. It try opens, to Missouri. opens the 15th of September. 15th. There. I'm going to try to go down that weekend. Probably. I still have all my stuff at that farm, too. Do you really? All the cameras and all the stands yeah, and stuff? Yeah, two, two cell cameras and stand and sticks and whatnot. Um, What's up? Going to come on the podcast? It's a family affair. So it's going to say hi to the people. You can be on YouTube. Yep. You say hi to your friends. What about uh, what's that guy that you watch? What's his name? No. Okay. So yeah, talking about deer hunting. He's gonna go deer hunting this year, aren't you? Youth, youth hunting. You want? You can tell him you're gonna shoot a nice buck or a doe. What are you gonna shoot? Buck. Buck. How big? Let's see. Show me with your this hands. This big. That big. This big. 
big, big like Aaron's? That big one out in the field. Oh, yeah. He's So we were going to do a, uh, oh, was it a after work program? It was the Tante group. And oh, yeah. there's that big nine pointer that's sitting out there. I got pictures oh, of him. Oh, over there? Yeah, it's out there. And uh, Jason's like, I want to shoot that one. I'm like, okay, well. You see the one that was. Yes. You see the one that was at Papa's house. Was that today that you um, sent that, or Daddy. there was a the big six pointer last night, right. and then a Daddy. couple other decent deer. Yeah. Well, you got your shots today for kindergarten, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Good work. Your leg hurts, don't it? Mm-hmm. You got Try. two shots. Is that the Incredible Hulk? Wow. So uh, Jason's first year. He's. Uh, I've got to go, you know, with Jesse a few times with his girls, but. Never got to take him deer hunting, so he's five this. Sh- well, he's over five, but we're gonna go and try to get him a deer. So it's gonna be fun. I got two hawk blinds, and I'll probably I got the uh, muddy bale blind, and then I'll probably put up a pop up, maybe in that field on terrace. Or it seems to be pretty warm during that youth season. It's so bad. I mean, Sophie shot that buck last year, and it was we were in t-shirts and shorts. In the blind. I might invest in one of those, like, battery-powered fans. Have you seen those? Yeah. Yeah. Like, just like to get some wind. Tools. Like, like I, yeah. I'm a big DeWalt guy just because yep. I have all the DeWalt stuff. I'm probably going to buy one. Yeah. I wonder if Steel makes one. Because I got sure. the, the Steel Electric Chainsaw like MSA 220. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure they're. Yep. Yeah. That Milwaukee. Don't you have yep. Milwaukee tools? Uh, no, I have a Craftsman, Craftsman Dr- Impact. but You could just Amazon pretty yeah. much everything yeah. you want sure. anymore. So, that's what I would say. This is a cool deer. Aaron shot this one last year. That was your bow deer, right? That was my bow deer, yeah. November 7th. Bow deer on the ground. Public. Grounded pound, baby. Grounded pound. How many deer have you shot S- on the ground? Six of my eight-hour bucks have been from the ground up on. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. And it, they weren't always by design like that. They just. Oh, cool. The, the public ones ended up being by design. Yeah. I stalked a couple, but it's just the way it's worked out. Yep, got to be able to take advantage of opportunities. Yep. You well, that, know. Yeah. Like, everybody's real big on mobility, you know, and I was no more mobile than being on, on, on foot. Right, so. right. But there was one time, my, I guess, I'm staring at that deer up there. Um, Jesse and I were sitting in a tree stand one night, early muzzleloader, and down on uh, over by um, Redfield, and we saw this deer come out and go into, you know, like, a willow bat. Like, hey, why don't you go tomorrow night? Go see if we can shoot him. Like, sat down right in that willow bat. Did the same exact thing. And yeah, there's a video like, of that. Like, what, like 300 yards away? When he we was, went, yeah. We, and we could have, you know, now with a smoke list, could have right, smoked but him. We, but yeah. we drove bikes in there. Yeah. Hunt, pedal, hang, bikes, pedal bikes. Pedal like bikes. Not, not the electric e bikes. And that, you ditched your bike because it was hard. Yeah. It, it was a great been. idea, but it didn't good. work. Yeah. Yeah. Hanging hunt. And then uh, I shot him the next day. I just did one of these, <laughs> dropped him. But at like that was a night disc extreme, like I think. Yards, right? Yeah, it was 20, it was 30 20, yards. Yeah, yeah it, was it wasn't close. very far. And you're on the ground. Yeah, I was on the ground. It's yeah. totally different. It's cool. It, it is. Totally it's the field. deer. Yeah, they're you know you're one with the deer. When you're in a tree, you're like a squirrel looking down at right. the deer. You know, yep. gun gun or bow. I my first ever bow buck, I shot on the ground. Ground. Yep. And on public. Oh yeah. Da- down in it's down cool. in Leon. It was. So we. Uh, we always used to do a what? family fall turkey hunt, yep. and like during the fall you can shoot anything, right. hens, poults, you know, toms, whatever. So I was like, well, if we're gonna do this, I saw my bow tag. I can sh- if a turkey comes walking, we would kind of bump them like deer. Right. And I'm like, Easy. well, if we're gonna do this, well then Don't I can mess with that. Then I can bow hunt, you know. Yeah. And yeah. I'm walking down there. And nobody's even done anything. I'd walk and find the spot where I'm going to sit, and here comes this buck over the hill, November, yeah. dogging, you know, going on a scent trail, and he went into this opening, and I drew back and shot him and spined him at, like, 10 yards. Yeah. Oh, first yeah. first bow buck I'd ever killed. That's a different feeling. For yeah. Sure. I don't know if I've done it since. I tried. I remember when I lived in Iowa City, I tried to spot and stalk one on a fence line. Didn't work out. You want to talk to it? Tell him about the deer, the nine pointer. What's his name? I don't know, but it's like 99 degrees outside, and you're like 120 degrees on my lap. You are on fire, kid. 
So it's Friday. Uh, we're releasing this video tomorrow. So Sunday. Oh, Sunday. It's going to be Sunday released. Morning. Okay. Yep. It's just it's way too hard to do turnaround right away because so there there is a lot of editing is there? issues with this um, that I'm finding out. I'm sure there's easier ways to do it. Yeah. People have been doing it a lot longer. You're doing a good job. And there's probably people that get paid to do this. Yeah. That'd be cool. That would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. we, we put a, we've invested some money, but you know it's it's all fun and games, but. Uh, nope. This weekend, you're going down south, praying yeah. for some rain. Playing got food plots and hoping for rain. I'm going golfing on the Calcutta with some bo- boys down uh, Greenfield. And then uh, the 5x80, what are you doing? So that farm of Nick's that I'm hopefully going to have bought by season, uh, it was wheat in the ag field. Well, I went down there today. It's all cut. So now I can get down to my food plot. It was, oh be- it was beans, right? It you was, put rye in. It was beans. So my food plot is clover, ba- basically clover and weeds. I mean, there, there's a bunch of clover and stuff, but and the, it's on a hillside. It's all covered, so it's doing really well. I mean, the clover is just lush and thick in there. And when I went there like two weeks ago, it was money. And I'm like, perfect. <laughs> so in, but the whole farm is going into CRP. It's 40 acres and like 32 of it qualifies for CRP. So it's getting a fall planting of CRP, which how well the farm is going to be this year, who knows, but it's an investment for uh, yep. years down the road. So we have two one plot or one acre food plots we can plant. One's on the other side of the farm, just literally over the hill on the other side. And then this one, where it was beans last year was about 1.75 acres. So part of that's getting taken out. So I'll do, I'm going to try to manicure it where right along the timber, I'll have all the clover and stuff. And then outside of that, I'll do brassicas yeah. and whatnot. And then the first year with it being, um, you know, nothing's going to grow. I'll probably be yeah. able to throw some rye everywhere. And yeah. It's not going to hurt. If anything, it'll help the CRP grow yeah. in the long run. So that's my plan. So I brought my trailer back from the farm, put my four wheeler and the mower on it, and hopefully do some. So work. they're gonna. When are they gonna drill the CRP? No idea. And Nick was supposed to call me, and he's so busy. Is he's it uh, like CP thirty three or what mix is? You know, is it like a quail buffer mix or is it like a? Um, I think tall grass. I think it's a quail one. Okay. But you're in southern Iowa. Yeah, like, it's yeah. it's all the way down. And it's way down kind south. of a it's just a big how many acres is it? Forty. Forty? Oh, so it's pretty good. But it's a just a big kind of a yeah, mounded yep, shill layout. Yep. That falls off into two drainages. Yep. One goes off into a cattle yard. And you have big deer there. I mean there's you got yeah. some deer that you yeah, know. Sophie shot that mid forties five year old last year. There's a six by five that he's we've cool. Had, that we've had a picture of two years. I don't have anything of them this year. Okay. Um, and then there was a couple other pretty decent bucks yeah. last year. That six by five was pretty cool. He could I, be one that uh, I didn't hunt there late season because I knew good. I would have shot him. You never found uh, a sheds though. No sheds. Had so pictures don't? of them after season. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, had pictures of them after season on. I was feeding alfalfa. So he those. might be at the neighbors or yeah. Who knows? And it's <sighs> September shuffle coming soon. Oh yeah, velvet comes off. Yep. Yeah, that then goes out the window. That's the funny thing. Like right now, guys. I hate my camera saw. Well, I know, but there's a lot of guys <laughs> out there. Like even some guys on our team that oh, we're getting pictures of these deer. I just I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but the chances are that deer is gonna probably go somewhere else. He's gonna disperse. At least one of the three are. Right? I would rather be like you. I would rather not have that many big deer on yep. camera in the yep. summer. I would rather get them like it seems like they do like a late summer. Loop. September scramble yep. is what I've always called summer, it. Yep. And when I get that random group coming through, I'm like, all right, let's right. Go look for them. And Normally like July. Yep. Yep. Uh, it's always yep. been like the first week of July it's, for me, around the 4th. For me, around the first week of August. But you, you, both of you guys, before. as far as when you used to get pictures of deer, it's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to hunt these deer. Like, I'm going to see them all the time, and then they disappear, and you're like, they don't show up till late season. It's like right. they go to the neighbors or they go somewhere else. Right. Like, they go to their home range. Unless you have history with him yep. and know that what he does in the fall. Right, yep. Then, then you can get excited with that. Like, per, yep. I've never had him on camera this early, and he's he's there on that farm in the fall. He stays. So I, that's I'm that's a good. Excited yep. about him, but that's good. Yeah. Yep. So, you know. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how it all plays out, and I, I hope uh, all three of us and you know all the outdoor X team have have a great fall. I think we will. Uh, we no, should. We like have. It, it, with last year, how many deer did we shoot total? 
And we shot probably 50% on film. Um, no idea. We got a guy riding around with a uh, scooter, so. Uh, yeah, I, I don't remember. I mean, it, it, I don't know if it was quite 20 on video, but it was really close, mid, mid to upper teens on video. Right. And then there was probably another almost just as many that were killed off video. Every time I went by myself is when I... Yeah. You had the one that you had the tact cam on, yeah. mounted to my gun. I mean, it was the wide angle back at myself. Yeah. It was 210 yards yep. anyway. Maybe right. we could throw it in there for an intro or right. something. It was kind of cool. It was cool. And I, I shot... My hunt ended up being pretty cool because of the tact cam. Was it the 5.0? Is that what I had? Or the newer newer one? But yeah, because they have a 6, but you have, yep. that was a 5. No, I had the new, new one. Then it the was square one. Then it's a 6. Okay, I had the 6. So yeah, that made that made the hunt. So the tactics games are nice. Um, you had there's no FTS for the new 6.0 yet. Not yet. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't. Eventually. Yeah, why would they not come out with that? Because that clarity is night well, day because difference. Because you're running off a platform that's not round, so you're trying to focus. Oh, they're gonna have to make something different because that camera is night and day different, better than all the other yeah. ones combined. I, mean, I, I have a 5.0 specifically for my FTS. Yep. I used it during turkey season. I use it during muzzleloader. Yeah. Like, I, I love it. That shoot through the scope. As long as you take the time to set it up right using the app and yeah. you can it's nice focus to have it, everything. That, that angle, which would be kind of cool. With, it's kind of bulky, but at the same time, it's, you get that video and you, you have that to share with people. Right. That gets a, it's a big difference. Like, that, yep. I mean, you can take a hunt that. Like your deer when uh, we went did the hunt quest thing. The nine pointer? Yeah. Yeah, it's, that. It's the, it's the f- only time I have not taken a big camera hunting with me in On like my birthday. 15 years. And I <laughs> I'd gotten a picture of that big nine pointer going to bed, and I'm like, he's going to walk right down the same trail. And I just, I think I got halfway down there and was like, crap, I left my tripod at home. What am I going to do? Well, I was like, well, I got my FTS, and I shoot him straight with the FTS, and he goes 60 yards, yeah, falls over that, the head. That was a, a great deer to shoot because we got to attend the hunt quest banquet. Right. Or the got quest hunt, whatever fifth. it's called. Got fifth. And uh, that was really cool. I would, I mean, it. you've entered it a couple times. You've shot good deer and your buddy hasn't. You know, that's how it goes. Well, that's well, how well, it was well, for well, two years. Yeah, two us. years with us. Yeah. Names. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first year was well, Chris and Taylor won it. And then uh, we, we all entered it after that. It was pretty cool. You know, it's just, it's a nice. Uh, it's it's something that's competitive in the outdoor industry. It's kind of cool to be a part of. Right. Um, you can kind of watch the, you know, who shoots what. You see pictures of the deer. You can even look at, like, Missouri or different it's states. Just, it's, yeah. That's, what that's I, cool. It's that's like, oh. I got into and it's, looking at Kansas and all that. My favorite thing to do is, you know. Guess the scores. Guess the scores. You yeah. know, a lot of people, oh, the score doesn't mean anything. Well, it's, it's neat to see, you know, how close you can get. Like, well, guy from Kentucky shoots a deer. They're a little different body wise, like, sh- right. But you can kind of guess that, like, you know, I think that's a one thirty seven or whatever. Then you look down at the bottom. Oh man, I was two inches off. Like this is cool. Right. It's well, kind of a fun it, game. It just helps you if you're if if you're into shooting a higher class deer. Yep. And you're in the tree stand, or like, even a yeah. It, like I'm looking at deer. I'm like, okay, that's a one forty, right. you know. And then it just helps you judge, like, oh well, I've seen deer or Greg killed a deer that kind of looked like that, but the brow tines weren't quite the same. They were a little yeah. bit longer, yeah. a little bit shorter, and that it just helps you be a better judge in yeah. the field. Yeah. You know, like the same thing. It gets super annoying during deer season on like social media, like, oh, it hey, does. Yeah. What's this deer score? How old is it? Yeah, like, and that happens a lot. Like bow hunters of Iowa all the time. Like, hey, would you shoot this deer? How old is it? You know, yeah. I don't know. Do you have history with it? Yeah, who really can't age it? It, does yeah. it make you happy? Like, that's the biggest thing. Like, score doesn't mean a thing. It's no. cool for us because that's where we're at in our – I know, like it. It's yeah. it's fun to see it, say, oh, yeah, I shot a 140 or I won't shot a 200. Like, that's cool. But it's it's also fun to say, I shot a deer and I'm happy with it. Like, right. who cares? Which you should. Yes. Or I, I, like, like, I like having stories. Like, yeah. If it's a deer or, like, new yep. a deer you've had three or four or five years of history with, that's cool to kill no matter what he scores. Right. Yep. I think that's that's cool. Yeah. 